studio and I'm going to do some paint pouring. I've only done this once before and I loved it. So I've already mixed up a bunch of colors. I made a really cool bin. Uh, I got the idea from another paint pouring artist online on YouTube. I'll have to find her and link her to my video. But it worked great to make this. I just have to finish it up. Um, but I'm too excited. I'm going to get some paint pouring done. So anyway, here we go. As you can tell, I have an old painting. I sanded it down. And I am going to make sure it's level. All right. This worked great. Okay. I wasn't sure how this bin was going to work or if I could get it straight. I'm not exactly a perfectionist, so I'm always proud of myself when I get it. Okay. So I'm going to start layering my colors. I'm going to do a paint, like a, where you tip the cup over, <laughs> flipping the cup. See, I don't even know what the technical words are for these, so um, we're just going to wing it, right? Okay, I'm going to start with white, because I really don't know what the proper way to there it is but we'll figure it out now that I'm doing this I'm realizing that I probably don't have enough paints if I'm gonna do it this way but we'll see I'll do a few different kinds and I did put one drop of silicone in each of these and I mixed them all with it was about a tablespoon tablespoon and a half of paint about two tablespoons of Floetrol and maybe like a half a teaspoon of water Okay. All right, I have no idea if that's enough paint or not, but we will just see how it goes. Yeah, it doesn't look like enough paint. Maybe I'll add. Well, I don't know how to... Actually, I don't think I'll just do that first. Oh, it's already looking really cool in the cup. Okay. Now, I'm going to dump some around. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put gloves on. I guess my hands are going to get dirty. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, these are just like, these coppers are awesome.
I just don't know if I have enough paint, so I wanted to scrape everything out of there that I could. Okay. And, oh my gosh, it looks so awesome already. Okay, I know you're not supposed to get too close to the flame. This is a brand new uh, torch for me. And I really don't know how to work it yet, so. around okay I'm gonna try to do this so I can show you the whole time not turn it the wrong way I think I definitely needed more paint. But it looks pretty awesome. I don't know, maybe I do have enough paint. Although I don't know about the sides, I guess that's the question, right? So this is a pretty deep canvas. to be a mess. Well. Okay, so I just don't have it down here on this corner right here. This is all we're missing. Yeah, there's definitely not enough paint because it's super thin. Okay, I'm going to stop. what I'm doing. I'm going to touch your right arm over the sides. Make sure there's paint. I use paint from the bin to make sure I have all. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Okay, and then you're supposed to wait like hours for it to dry or more and uh, like a few weeks to before you put resin on it resin on it so that will be fun to try that because I've never done that before and I am going to I think torch it again and get my brand new torch totally gross here we go. There's already a ton of cells, so I'm not sure if this is going to do anything more. Oh, there's some more. This part's kind of cool, this wire part. scientist. So pretty. Okay, I think, I don't know. Okay, I'll come in for a close-up. Thanks.
so much for watching. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and share my channel. I would really appreciate it. All right, that's all for now. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.